Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Window to Hollywood. Uh, we are so honored and happy to have special guest Aggie Shea, um, singer-songwriter, actor from uh, Taipei, Taiwan. Aggie, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I love you guys. Yeah. This is going to be fun. <laughs> so fun. So fun. Um, I'm Joseph Perlman, and this is Eugene Nomura. Hello, and hello. We're, we're in Los Angeles. Wow. Hi, and, and I'm in Taipei, Taiwan. Huh. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. How are you feeling? How is Taiwan? Taiwan is hot. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm staying positive and enjoying life to the fullest. So, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Aggie, I have known you... I've been working, I've been lucky enough to work with you for, it feels like a year and a half. Is that about right? And on Eugene as well, have we all known each other for about, has it been like a year and a half or more or less? I think a year and a bit. Yeah. I remember auditing <clears throat> your first class uh, in May. Oh, wow. April, end of April or May. So it's been, yeah, Over it's getting there. But yeah. of 2022, right? Yes. What are we now? Yes. 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 Right? So it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yes. it's <been> like... <laughs> Time flies. Yeah. Wow. So like almost a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Almost. Yeah. yeah. And we've met in person too. So. Yes, we have. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. That was fun. Wonderful. Yeah. When are you coming back to LA? Hopefully soon. I have no idea, but... I might go to Paris before then, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to go back and learn more, eh? Because you really, okay, so I <laughs> I feel like I, I can't find like a community here in Taiwan where, you know, you can really work on your craft and there's just so much you can learn from different, you know, coaches, teachers. And so whenever I go to LA, it's just like, oh, wow, I'm just like, a sponge just constantly learning and just having so much fun and I feel so so motivated and so influenced by all the talent and how passionate people are to to learn and and grow and play and be wild and so yeah it just keeps drawing me back to back to Los Angeles yes yes back to Los Angeles I have a community and I know I know I get it I, I know I do saying, which is I'm I know so you, grateful I know mean, for though. this yeah, I, I, I'm so grateful because now I can be in Taiwan and then still work on my craft with you guys. And, and that's great. I, I feel so much more productive because if it wasn't for you guys, I probably just wasted a whole year last year. <laughs> but obviously, it's so fun when you're like when you were here and to get to see you and mm. for everybody to get together and then to have like regular get togethers. No, I totally get it. It makes sense. And I can't wait for for you to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah, and the support just from the community. Like when you're feeling down, you can share it with the group and everybody, you know, can can relate and they can share their stories so you don't feel like you're so alone, you know, all over like on the other side of the world. And it just feels nice to to be seen and to be understood and know that you're not alone going through it. Yeah. I have well, I have a couple little questions and then we have some, you know fun questions that we may want to ask you, but how do you describe yourself? Like, how do you describe yourself to the people, colleagues or people who, you know, ask what you do describe yourself as a, as an actor, singer, songwriter? Like how would, how would you describe what you do in a sentence? I think I would say I'm unapologetically myself <laughs> <laughs> cool cool yeah I, I'm I am very different from I, I would say most actors and singers here in Taiwan and I yeah I, you could just tell by like the, the energy I give off when, when I'm working I am a ball of energy where people are just like is she on drugs 
where I'm like, what? <laughs> no, no, this is me on a normal basis. Like you work out, you're happy, you're ready to go, start the day. I'm ready to work at 6 a.m. while everybody's just like getting their first like sip of their first coffee in the morning. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. I saw that when Steve scared energy. you. I saw that when oh, Steve yeah. scared you. And also was- very <laughs> skittish. Also very skittish. But we don't tell people that until later on, unless they find out oh, themselves. okay, okay. I also talk about myself in third person. I'm sorry if that happens and you get confused. I, I do that sometimes. <laughs> no and apologetically problem. herself. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you? How old were you when you started doing what you're doing? I was 15. Oh. I mean, prior to that, I, I had done commercials here and there but I, I wouldn't say that counted i think my first commercial i was like three didn't even know i was in a commercial <laughs> oh, commercial wow. with my mom yeah she's a singer actress and many more things but yeah it was through her where i got to get used to being on stage um yeah and and not see it as something that was scary Yeah. And then I think it was because I went to a wedding when I was 15 where um, a director was sitting behind me and she just kept looking at me and she was like, are you interested in acting? I was like, yeah, sure. But then the funny thing is, okay, not a lot of people know this about me, but I live in Taiwan. Most of the schools are taught in Mandarin here, Mm -hmm. Um, but I went to an international school starting from first grade. And so... English started to become like my first language and then yeah I I didn't really like all I needed to know in life outside of school was like oh I when I go to McDonald's I want the number three set you know I want the the McNuggets with the extra fries that's it so that was all the Mandarin I knew yeah but this show that she wanted me to be a part of was all in Mandarin and I did not know I like I I mean I hear my parents speak it but I don't yeah I couldn't speak it fluently and I was 15 at the time and memorizing lines was like memorizing sound and wow. they were very I was very lucky for for them to actually be able to talk to the school and schedule time out for me to actually do this so I would go to school in the morning and then the school will let me out early and then I'd go to the set and work but then there were times where i would not sleep for days and that was that was harsh wow how how was days how was it acting in mandarin or i mean acting in general it was so hard it was memorizing sound and sometimes you get the sound like all over the place and then they're just like no that's and that's how i memorized and they're like no that's wrong and then so i would have to memorize it on the spot and it was just i think it that first time like acting on set and with just I was young too I was acting I was 15 but I was actually acting at age 18 to 28 getting married and divorced in between I don't know what that's like like what that life is like but anyways (laughs) everyone would just be waiting on me but I'm like the kid out of everybody because everybody else is like in their 30s like 20s and they're just like waiting on this kid to like you know know her lines and it was just a lot of pressure and I think that was quite traumatic where I guess there are moments where I still self you know have self-doubt in in that aspect but yeah it's it's figuring out how how to overcome that I guess but it it was hard (laughs) it was very hard like like when when you know when you like when you first start and you don't know what's kind of going on and then plus it's Mandarin and you're on set and you're 15 and then Mm -hmm. When did you And I was really... playing the lead actress and I was like, what in the world? <laughs> There's so wow. many lines. I was like, Wow. Nah. I mean, they, they took a risk picking me for, for that role, but yeah, wow. it was still a lot of fun. For me, I noticed right off the bat, like emotions come very, mm. very easily to me. It's just those lines, those damn lines. <laughs> then Eventually, I, I figured it out and was able to gain confidence. And yeah, I, I was known for that project. And I got to sing, like, I think it was the ending song of that of that project as well. And then that kind of started my career where I, I would act a bit, sing a bit, you know, go back and forth. And so after mm. that project, I ended up signing with a record label. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
really mm-hmm. kickstarted your career then. Yeah. And normally when people, you know, graduate from my my school, the international school, the majority, like I would say 90% of the people would, you know, go to college elsewhere in the world. But I decided to stay because, you know, my my career was starting and I was like, well, things are good. Family's here. Maybe just stay. Mm. So, yes, I've lived in Taiwan all my life, but yet I sound like I've lived in the States. (laughs) (laughs) Are, is there are there like training like a lot of actors that train in Taiwan or is, like the U.S. or is it in Taiwan? Like majority of the celebrities here aren't don't have you know theater background or aren't really trained. So for me, it was really just being thrown in that environment and just like survive, like learn how to survive. And so you pick up little little tips here and there and you kind of figure out. And I, I think the environment, because I haven't really worked on a project in the States yet, but I've seen like co-productions and been a part of some in Taiwan. But the, the just the whole environment isn't as, I wouldn't say it's as professional. So there are a lot more challenges you have to go through. So for instance, you know, there are people just, you know, just it's so distracting on set it you know people could be making fun of you they could there's just so much and you have to learn to overcome all that and i think through through my experience learning to to overcome those it becomes like something where like okay i'm going to use this as like a challenge like i know you're there but that's not going to affect me and then you become even better and and so you're just more prepared for for anything that happens so I'm kind of, it's, it's like a blessing in disguise. <laughs> like in the moment when you're starting off, it's like, oh, wow, this is ter- like terrifying. Mm-hmm. But once you overcome it, you're just like, okay, I, I know how to handle this. This isn't going to get me. You're like, okay, what, what, what else can you do? You know, <laughs> I'm ready for the next challenge. I would love to hear a bit about the journey of... I don't know if transitioning is the right word, Aggie, but you tell us, but from entertainment industry in Taiwan to working in the United States, the Hollywood world, Hollywood, Hollywood world, Hollywood world, like what are the challenges? What's awesome about it? Yeah. So I think what really transitioned was I had been doing a lot of projects in Taiwan and I noticed because the first director that I worked with here in Taiwan and and the first few that I've worked with were very, just, just very loving. And I I could bounce off ideas with them. And I, it just, it was pretty much very smooth, like the interaction with the directors. But later on, I realized there are a lot of um, result directing and I couldn't really... I just, I knew I struggled with those because, you know, I, as an actor, you, you don't want to hear the tips of like, oh, I want you to be more angry. I want, cause it can get confusing. And, and when you kind of focus on doing that, you lose the essence of the character. And I think you're, you're less truthful because you're just trying to give the result of whatever they're trying to see and i totally understand because you know them as directors they're they're more visual or or some of the result directing directors they're more visual so yeah sometimes i'm just struggling with trying to find that balance between being truthful Mm. and yet being able to give what the director wants so it's like bridging the two like the communication between the actor and the director and it would just so happen that I was doing a lot of research on YouTube where I realized, oh, yeah, there are coaches out there in the U.S. that do help with that bridge in between actors and directors. And so I started, you know, going online, working with them. And then, you know, they kind of encouraged me to go to the States to try out different workshops. And that's kind of when I flew to L.A. and then kind of met the, the, the community there. And it was just amazing. And then I got the opportunity to, you know, find a manager and, and realized, oh, wow, it's, it's very different now because for, for an actor to get work, you have to audition. And I only auditioned maybe like 
once or twice, like in Taiwan, because once you're starting to work, no, they, you don't really need to audition anymore. They just know who you are or know what you're capable of. So they'll just kind of approach you and see if you're interested in a project. And yeah, so I was like, okay, this is kind of like working backwards. And I realized there's kind of an art to, to it, to, to the audition, because it's, you don't get enough time to to actually digest. And I don't know. Sometimes when you're watching yourself, you're just like, oh, it should, should. I don't know. Sometimes you're, you're looking at it from a perspective of, oh, should it seem visually like more appealing? I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. But sometimes if you're so in the moment, sometimes it's so like visually it, it doesn't translate. And so I was kind of getting in my head trying to figure this out. And I guess so that was would be one of the challenges, like learning how to audition, do self-tapes, because I felt like it was very different from when you're working on set. Because for me, I'm very, I would, would you use the word sensitive? If I'm in a setting, like anything could affect the way that I feel, the clothes that I'm wearing, the makeup, the hair, everything. So I build off of that energy but when everything's stripped away it's like well this isn't normal and I have to be normal in a very not normal setting and this is just so different and yeah but so so that's kind of been like the challenge trying to figure out what do directors or casting directors look for in in auditions and what makes you stand out and I think coming to PA8 was just it, it answered everything for me. And I was mm. like, okay, this is the way to go. This feels truthful to the character itself. And yet I can play in however, di- like dynamic. I could be big, I could be small, and yet it still works. Yeah. And so th- I, I think, yeah, just being able to meet you really helped with that challenge for me. Thanks, yeah. Aggie. So the new mindset, what would you say the new mindset is right now with all that kind of stuff? Um, how would you describe that? My mindset now is, you know, I'm just enjoying every moment I can. And when people are able to relate or, or feel something through just seeing that, then yay. If they don't, at least I was enjoying myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Totally agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have a, there's a, one of the questions we wanted to ask was about balancing act, acting and singing. If there is a balance, are there specific projects or roles and are there specific things you've done that hold a special place in your heart? Like, what is that balance like? Or is it just, again, balance might be the wrong word, but love to hear more about yeah, that. I, I, I don't think there really is a balance. I know that like when you're filming, it's very extreme here. And also because we don't have, you know, a union here. So we're working how many hours, like like 18 plus a day sometimes. It's like crazy, you don't sleep. So so when I know that I'm filming, it's like you don't have a life. So when I'm not working, I really, really enjoy the times where I don't need to do anything. I can be lazing around and I'm just enjoying it fully because I know it's not gonna be like that, you know, forever. So it's really whatever comes, just enjoy that moment, enjoy that pre- like present moment. And yeah, there. what is balance? <laughs> yeah, no, I, completely. Yeah. By the way, I mean, I've been lucky enough to come to your country once. I was in Taipei and I got to explore a bit around Taiwan. What would be interesting like what would be the thing that like if you were in LA what would you what do you love the most about just being there just like your life in Taipei I think the would workshops. be something you'd miss or oh, in Taipei what I what would I miss in Taipei oh I, I thought you meant what would I miss in LA I was like all oh, the workshops oh uh in Taipei I I guess it would be just family um I don't because mm. I yeah, I, I have no idea because I've lived here all my life. So I don't know what I'm okay. going to miss until I leave. <laughs> sure, for sure. But, but yeah, I, I mean, this is home for me, definitely. But yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> also, I mean, this is something, well, the whole 
you know, how directors work with actors on set, Eugene, is something we've been, you know, you've been talking about and we've been working on for years in the, in the PA Asia community. But what, Aggie, what differences have you noticed between Asian, Asian entertainment industry and Hollywood? How are these differences, how have it impacted your approach to your work? Um, other than what you've talked about, or is what you talked about right, the way right. directors work the primary one? Well, I feel like I, I'm just starting to to see the other side, you know, of like Hollywood and how. So I, yeah, I actually don't really know what else. I mean, this is something that's been a work in progress, and one of you know your big missions in Japan is to change the way things. Yeah. Right, it's, this has been a big topic. I think it's uh, you know what what. Aggie saying about Taiwan and how the directors want the results. And I mean, it's very similar. The 18 hours a day, that's similar yeah. to um, my longest day was 34 hours or something. It was oh not. Oh my God. God. That's crazy. <laughs> and then, and then once you kind of learn this way or like, you know, what we do in PA and whatever, and, and then we work on it a certain way. And then using that, in Taiwan, when you work in Taiwan, how is that, you know, like you using that, like after auditioning here and trying to, what you learned in PAA and trying to about, you know, using yourself more, having more fun. I actually haven't had the chance to apply it so much because mm. I guess since, um, since PAA, I haven't really been doing a lot of projects that, you know, I, that require a lot of me but uh -huh. yeah sometimes it's just knowing that you could i think with paa it gives like just the way that we work it gives you that boost of confidence of like you don't need to be stressing about how many hours you're spending on trying to find the character and it's really just you know an instant thing you just need to get your mind in that space mm. and yeah. 10 minutes 20 minutes yeah. you're there and that's and right. you can just have all this space to play. And I think with that confidence, it, it really just helps make things a lot easier on set. And being more flexible. That's that's one thing that I've really learned from Joseph. It's it's because there were some times where and, and because being in Taiwan, you don't have that method or, or learning experience. So for me at a point in life when I was working on characters I really didn't relate to I did kind of go into method mm. acting I mean I don't know enough about method acting to understand how much would it take to actually be required you know or labeled mm -hmm, mm -hmm. method acting but kind of in that space so then when directors would give you a note you're just like no my character wouldn't do that like mm -hmm. that just it's so absurd like <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is, and and then you feel like you you know you've done so much work that the directors don't understand that why that doesn't make sense. But and so I was kind of stubborn in that sense where I'm like, I did all this work like just that's what. But then you know coming to PAA, I just I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, as human beings, we we don't always respond in the way that we normally do and and there's mm. so many ways of responding yeah. like there are times where i could just you know come into work and i'm just like skipping around and just so happy or i could just be like fuck off <laughs> you yeah. know yeah. That, it's just just endless amounts of i don't know possibilities and and closing myself off like that was i guess just because that's mm. how i was able to to survive at that time and know how to, or at least sure. feel like I, I've done the work. But yeah, hours on end or days or months of doing that, you, you become a little stiff where you're not able to yeah. open up to, to, mm. you know, ideas or, or yeah, comments or, or yeah. direction. I think one of the mm -hmm. things about the traditional sort of method, you know, is that, it doesn't teach you or nobody teaches you to let it go and to be free of it and to kind of, you know, that you live, you should be living off the interest of it, not doing it while you're acting, not as a mechanism of control. It's just as a seed plant planting part of the process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you are someone who's achieved success in both singing and acting. How do you decide, like, what is your criteria for projects, Aggie? Like, 
whether they're just if it challenges me, if it makes it fun, then I'll do it. If it doesn't, then I'm not. And that's also kind of why I I was I kind of backed off on music for a while when I was signed with this record label because a lot of the music that I wanted to do, the music that I wrote, that I wanted to change my, I guess my, I don't know, my look or I, I just being myself, really just playing and and seeing what else I could do. It, they they kind of wanted me to steer away from that and then just be more like nicely mm. packaged in this way that we know <laughs> how. And, and for me, I realized from, you know, releasing my first album, there's a lot of promoting that you have to do. There's a lot of singing. You have to, you know, performance. And I'm just like, you know, for me, it, if I don't love it, it's it's a waste of time. Like that somehow that's how I, I felt. And I was like, this is not a great way of spending my time. And, you know, you're in cars, like driving from one end to the other to, to perform. And I'm like, I do not want to be in a car for this long just to perform a few songs that I don't care for. <laughs> so I might, you know, take a break and and do something else. And with acting, I, I think there's just so much room to play. And also I find that yeah. my life is very mundane or I would say it's, it's just, I am not very crazy in that aspect where I would argue or yell. I, the first time I really got mad was, was through acting. And so I was like, mm. okay, you know, I experience more through acting. So I, that that's what, piques my curiosity and that gives me a lot of space to play so I'll focus on that for now and yeah every so often I'll, I'll write a song here and there and but it, it's it's more of just like something that I like to do with myself and not feel like I have to you know package it and then perform it a certain way but who knows I, I might go back to that if I'm able to, to be, you know, more hands-on and have my say. Yeah. Sounds like one of, of the things we talk about a lot is fun. You know, that's how you kind of know some things you're in the right place is fun. And it sounds like your barometer of fun, you, you really, that was something that you've trusted, always trusted, right? Yes. Maggie, it's that's yeah. And that's why I'm still at PAA. <laughs> Focus <laughs> on the fun. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. That's why I'm still there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I guess it's I, so good. It's great. Yeah. Acting has been saving my ass <laughs> yeah. throughout my <laughs> my whole career with doing everything as well. So, so I always come yeah. back to the acting part of it, and then and then it kind of saves me usually mentally. Like somewhere it's like, oh, okay, good, you know. So I was gonna say, like on a mindset, personal, emotional level, Eugene, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, I'll be doing all these things or producing something or, you know, dealing with people and this and this. And then I'll have an acting thing or, you know, a scene in a film or whatever, or a scene in PAA even. And then it's like, okay, I'm free. <laughs> yes. I'm free. I can, you know, I could let go. And then, I mean, it's like the most, when you're acting, you could be the most freest. So that's. I also find acting very therapeutic. Like a lot of times, I guess in life as people, you don't really analyze your feelings or talk about it so much. It's only because I'm an actor. So I really like enjoy doing that, like analyzing. And But I think if it wasn't because I was an actor, I I think a lot of people, they, they wouldn't go about like trying to figure out what exactly is going on with them. But then being able to work on a scene you just are able to release all this energy you didn't know you had in you. And I think it's in such a lovely manner where you don't even have to label what's going on in your life. And sometimes I, fo I feel like when you focus on labeling your issues, you end up just focusing more on those issues than like trying to escape it. And so I feel like with acting, you're just like releasing this energy. And then when you're done, you feel great. Then you're just like, oh, <laughs> I'm Everything's great. <laughs> so for me, it's therapy. <laughs> you're, you're describing better how I feel afterwards than I could put into words, Aggie. I love this. I'm going to watch this back and like live off those words. I mean, I feel, I don't know. I feel effing amazing afterwards, but that's pretty, pretty well described. Yeah. It's so much fun. 
It is. <laughs> you know, it is. Stupid fun. You know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even on, on set too, you know, it's, it's, and then bringing this, this energy that we all have in the community to set. And then, you know, everybody else has no idea or they're very Japanese mm. or, you know, and then boom, we do something on set and then they're like, whoa, what the hell is this energy? <laughs> right? You know, and the crew's like laughing and, you know, they're just like, oh my God, you know, it's like we have to reshoot because the boom is all over the place. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so fun. People, you know, say hard work and dedication. Well, you can be under in, under the influence of fun and it doesn't feel like work. I mean, that's the thing we talk about. So it's, uh, yeah. yeah. So what it, Aggie, what advice would you give to aspiring mm. actors and singers who hope to follow a similar path anywhere, like in your country, in across Asia, in the U S I mean, to what, what would you say to them? I would say check out PA. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Thank you. I guess like for a- me, for me, it was, you know, after working for quite some time, you, you kind of also forget about having fun. And especially if you're trying to focus on results, like for instance, let's use auditions as an example, you're trying to f- sure. like get the best audition tape or whatever you you know you're focusing on the things you really shouldn't be focusing on if anything you know put the fun in that character and just play and I think that's what you focus on and that's how I was able to find the fun in acting again because I was like he, he, we do, as actors we really don't need to be focused on the technical or the mm. it's it's really just being fully fully committed and and just being in that present moment and not knowing what's going to happen. And I think in life, that's what we're going through. We never know how things yes. are going to go. I don't know how this interview is going to go, right? <laughs> but I'm just going to enjoy the moment, be myself, and just, you know, express. And, yeah. and that's kind of how I I kind of approach, you know, characters and acting and scenes now where it's just like, let's let's have fun. Let's, let's see how much fun we can we can have with this this little puzzle you know (laughs) okay well i don't know how this interview is going to go but i'm getting goosebumps (laughs) and like the feels because of how inspiring you are aggie and Mm -hmm. like that is going to be so that is so inspiring to like me in this moment but to you know all these other folks that are going to be watching these these younger actors just starting out that's so freaking inspiring so yeah that was awesome i love that thank you yeah for for me i feel so free and really so happy when i'm just focused on the present moment and just being the character itself being truthful as the character and i feel like when when you're when you get to experience the unknown and you know that that fear of not knowing what's going to happen next like yeah. really fully present that's when you're just like oh what I don't, I don't know what just hit me but this feels so good like this is addicting like and <laughs> it, it's just like a roller coaster ride and you just kind of can't stop but then when you know that like you're efforting then it's just like <laughs> like then you're pushing or struggling to get the like it, it's just yep. you know it, it, it doesn't feel good but like when you just kind of let go and just be like, okay, I'm just going to experience this. It's so freeing. And you are constantly like just so impacted by the, the energy or whatever is happening in the moment. And, and I think that's pretty much what actors should just be focused on. Like taking those as, as you know, energy to, to just work off of. Well, you point to something which is the present moment. And I think that's the thing that everyone is potentially unfamiliar with or afraid of, or like it's the simplest thing and it's the scariest thing. And I mean, it's what we do for the time that we're working together, you know, in class is it is, we are completely falling in and embracing that present moment and everything else, all that technical stuff, just, it just doesn't matter in that moment. Um, there's something really powerful about the present moment in the work. Yeah. 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 I, I think we focus so much on like, or coming in as, you know, 
new actors it's like oh it's efforting it's hard work you know you have to like be on it blah 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 blah. but actually great acting is when it doesn't feel like acting it doesn't smell like acting it doesn't smell so it's 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 really why are we making it so hard on ourselves (laughs) (laughs) what was that (laughs) why are we making it so hard on ourselves you know it's like yeah just you why know, are we making it so hard on ourselves? I don't what, know. Why like, do people make it so hard? Eugene, <laughs> Aggie, what do you guys yeah. think? It's crazy. No, I think like people look for reasons to make it hard. No, I think because you know, I, I just the way you know you 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 portray like I I don't know just like you the way you see actors, you're like, oh, this is like hard to do, or this is, you know, only a certain actor can do this. So then you kind of feel like, oh, I'm a nobody, and then trying to do that it it would take a lot so i i need to get coaches i need to know how to do this i need to know how to hit all my spots so then like you know they would think i'm professional and then you start overwhelming yourself with all these thoughts (laughs) and all you have to do is focus on the character right because when you're doing your job they'll follow you (laughs) amen (laughs) that's the best advice (laughs) I, I need some reminding sometimes every so now and then. Yeah. But. I think we all do. I think we all do. You know, it's, it's, it's cause um, I, I, I remember when I was, when I first started auditioning for the U S mm-hmm. and I was like, you know, and then I was, I came from Japan, same, you know, results all the time. Yeah. yeah. You know, actors saying as lines a certain way, or, you know, it's like all like blocks kind of, hmm. And then doing the audition, it's somewhere I'm used. I'm used to that environment. I was back then, and then like letting go of my ideas it was the first thing I did. I think I mm-hmm. just said, "Fuck it." <laughs> um, yeah. Just sweat. Yeah. You know, and luckily I was studying method and this and that. So you know, I was in my teens or whatever. But it was just like, ah. Oh. At the end of the day, it's it's how much you could have fun. <laughs> so yeah. you know but I, yeah i remember it was like you know and i wanted to prove myself or i was up to a certain point in japan and so i'm better than this person or it's so mm-hmm. stupid the, mm-hmm. the little shit i used to think mm-hmm. <laughs> way yeah. back when yeah you know but i feel like, like we're all so more alike than we we remember you know like i feel like everybody is all nervous and i think being able to create something great is like letting them know like it's okay and like Mm. just that yeah it's normal i'm also feeling this way but let's let's see what we can do because it's really hard to work with someone that's like oh i'm gonna say this line and then i'm gonna do this and then i'm and then you just kind of like have to ease them into like feeling more comfortable too so i I feel like you know we're, we're all in our heads and we all experience things so, like it, and you know, in some ways similar, and yeah, it's just being able to recognize that, and then also letting mm-hmm. them feel at ease and be like, "You're not the only one. Let's play and see what we could do." Yeah, I've, I've noticed that a lot of the people that are on the you know the producer side or the casting director side, they want to see actors that are having fun. All of them. Yeah. They don't want to see actors that are <laughs> doing it. Right. They want somebody alive and boom, and they come. And you don't want to and... work with people that are stressing too. That 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 oh, energy yeah. comes off like, oh, like yeah. oh, you're stressed. You're making me stress. I don't like this feeling. Like I, I want to be playing. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and if me... we if we fuck up, sorry, if, I don't know if we're supposed to be swearing. Not it's okay. This, but it's okay. Like if we do, we do. And it could yeah, be yeah. the best thing ever, you know? Mm-hmm. It, it could surprise all of us and end up being something totally wild. Yeah. You, you never I mean, know. It, it's mm-hmm. it's that fear that holds us down. And I guess sometimes we just have to remind us, like, let's let's change that fear and get excitement. And then you feel so much more empowered that way, which I also have to remind myself every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> No, but that, I think we're all the same in that sense, you know. Definitely, yeah, actors. I mean, new actors that are going to start, you know, from mm-hmm. now and everybody, and you know, they'll all first come and think, think, and yeah. this and this, and then if they see this, oh, we just have to relax and yeah. kind of let go, yeah, and just go with it. 
you know. I don't know about you guys, but for me, like all the time when I'm working on a new project, I, I, you know, I, I'm like, it, it feels like a new project. It feels like I've never acted in my life. Like I'm coming in like very raw and, and even so, even if you've like been doing this for like years and years, it, it still feels new, and it's just gotta know to like okay this is good like i i could build off of this this newness this freshness this like unknown and then be more embracing of that idea than like oh i'm scared like i don't know who are these people that i'm working with are they gonna have like big like egos or whatnot you know it's, yeah. we, I, I, we have yeah. so much thought that doesn't help us sometimes <laughs> totally but aggie this is like good rule i wish I want more actors to, I want more obviously to hear this, but to know that you don't have to work with people who stress you out. You shouldn't work with people. You should cut those people out. It was the best advice I got was anybody that causes aggravation and stress is to cut those people out of your professional life and possibly your personal life, but you shouldn't, you, you, sh you, you can say no to those. You don't have to work with those people. Is it, that's a great thing to say yeah. and empower people yeah. with. Yeah. And then another part of me would be like, well, I grew some, so maybe working on with like them, I, I could be, I could be, you know, okay, like untouchable. Like I could still work with them and be like, yeah, I'm not stressing. I don't know. There, there's like a, some part of me where it's like, I want to be challenged. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think yeah. that helps though at times, right? Like sometimes, yeah. Challenge. Sometimes. And then sometimes you realize, oh, okay, I, I, I'm not as great as I thought I was. <laughs> 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 but it's also human. a humbling experience, right? And you're like, okay, I see where I'm at right now. Okay. <laughs> Gotta still work on myself. <laughs> um, hey, Aggie, I know, I mean, some some things you do, but like it, it, whatever you're comfortable sharing, what do you love doing? What's fun like when you're not working on projects, when you're not acting and you're not singing, when just like, you know, like what do you what do you yeah. what are some things you do for fun? So for me, what I realized what helps with acting is experiencing life because I, I told you how my life was very mundane before. And so I yeah. had to experience a lot of life through acting, but I think what really helps is experiencing life outside of acting, doing things you normally wouldn't do or try something new. And so for me, I, I like to, to put myself in situations where I don't fully feel comfortable or don't know if I like, or just be open to experiences because that are all memories that you can, I don't know, somehow it just, it it makes working on a project so much more easily. Because you, you understand maybe a person that felt this way. Or maybe you understood, oh, this occupation because you went and did this at a at, at certain point in life. I mean, for me, on my 25th birthday, I decided to, to compete in a competition, in an MMA a mixed martial oh, wow. arts competition yeah oh, like wow. i mean on my times that are i'm off i'm just like okay this is and i only had seven days to train for it and i, I haven't had like any any training like maybe three years before that but i was just like because a friend called me and was like oh would you be down to to you know doing a, a, a competition and I'm like, yeah, sure. When is it? And he's like, oh, in seven days. I'm like, what? You're only giving me seven days to prep for this. But I would never have experienced that adrenaline rush and mm. that feeling of being in a Like, I felt like an animal. Like, yeah. I mean, in what part of life are you able to be and act like an animal where, you know, you, you don't have to really deal with a lot of consequences, too? And it's just like, okay, I could use that. And whenever I need, you know, to build on that idea in acting, at least I, I've experienced that and know kind of what that feels like. So it just opens your mind more for creativity and flexibility, I find. So just really having more experiences in life, just doing things you normally wouldn't do. Surprise yourself. Yeah. Wow. That's MMA. awesome. She, she's going to kick our asses, <laughs> That's so cool. I don't think I knew that. I mean, I knew all this sort of like adventure, like you doing I, like yeah. some of these like big hike adventure type of things, but I didn't know about that yeah. part of it. That's awesome. Yeah. Dude. So I gained Whoa. like 10 kilos. So that's probably like 20 pounds, maybe give or take. And then, yeah, competed. Obviously, like I, wow. I was a newbie, but like this girl that I was competing, she's already had a few competitions in her belt. And so ended up being like, I didn't get submitted, so that was fine. That was okay. But then she won by points, mm. and I was like, it's okay, because she's, like, 
probably hurt a few people before. So I'm I'm happy. Like it was a great experience. Like either way, it was a win win for me. A great birthday present to myself. Wow. Yeah. What an experience. Wow. So yeah. So we stuff should, like we, that. Just any we should start something, Joseph. <laughs> Like get into a fight? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't we do that like every week? <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously, um, that's ridiculously inspiring. I agree. No, I totally agree. So, um, any sneak peek into any? Well, I mean, I saw something kind of recent, but I'm not gonna. I don't know what I can talk about or what I can't. But can you give us any? You're amazing, by the way. Can you give us any like sneak peek into any upcoming projects or like goals, upcoming like goals you have? Hopefully, you'll see more of me. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) stick with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It'd be great. It'd be great to do something here, huh? With everybody. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I yeah. At the end of the day. I just want to have fun and experience life while I can. <laughs> so while yeah, you can. I'm at it while I can. Aggie, Eugene, do you have, I mean, if there's any other things that. Um... No, this is great. Cause I mean, yeah. all, all the things that Aggie said, I mean, it's going to be really inspiring for actors that see this really, it's really it's, inspiring. Yes. Thank you so much, Aggie. Oh, it's great to have this moment. I feel like I need to pay you guys. Like, I'm just like, this was a great moment. Like, I'm just hanging out. I want to do this more. <laughs> uh, that, oh Aggie, gosh. thank you so much for doing this. And, yes. and Eugene, of course, you know, thank you so much for just no, thank you. Thank for you. Putting this together and everything that we, we get to do. 